How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. And today we're going to be looking at these really interesting chocolate shapes that you can kind of form into different patterns and even stack on top of each other, it looks like. As you can see from the depiction right here, it's in kind of a construction looking area. This is by Crazy. And I got this at Tokyo Central in Gardena, California. I thought it'd be really nice to kind of see what we could do with these little chocolate pieces and see what they taste like. I really like how colorful the packaging is, but without further ado, let's flip it around and see the nutritional information and then open these guys up. Let's focus in on the back. It says we have a total of 16 carbohydrates and about 0.81 ounces. And then right here it shows everything that is inside of here. If you want to go ahead and pause that so you can see what is inside of it, go ahead. There we go. And we're going to just flip this around and open this up. So it probably has like a pull tab on here somewhere, let's see. It says open right here. So let's go ahead and open it up. There we go. And now let's go ahead and focus in on the inside. Look at all the little shapes in there. Let's go ahead and dump these out on the table and see what we got. There we go. And it seems like the colors aren't as vibrant as they were on the packaging, which is a little disappointing, but it's not really a big deal. So if we go ahead and zoom in on the chocolate, you can see what that looks like. It seems like the chocolate has a little bit of a layer of kind of like almost an older look to it, like that powdery look that chocolate gets when it gets old kind of concerning. I'm not saying these are bad, but they don't look as appetizing as they did on the front of the package. Let's go ahead and set that down. Grab one of these other guys. So this is what these guys look like. Pardon my fingers. I have kind of gone deep into working with glue the last hour, so I got about as much off as I could kind of shiny. I thought they'd be coated in some kind of like sugar shell, but they're not. Let's go ahead and focus up on this. I wonder if this is strawberry flavor. I'll go ahead and try all of these different ones out. I think the last one I didn't show was either the yellow or green one, but they all kind of look the same. They're not covered in anything specific, like a sugar coated shell like I thought originally. Let's see about stacking them, because that's what the point, I believe, of this was. So if we look at the depiction it gives, we should be able to stack one like this, and like this, and then maybe like that, and... Yeah, they're actually stacking pretty well. I'm surprised, because my table's not the sturdiest. That's about as much as I probably can go. So they do stack, but it's definitely not as premium looking or feeling as, you know, the depiction would give. But this is for kids, so, I mean, I give it a solid pass. Let's see if this chocolate tastes good or old. I'm going to start off with these kind of whiter looking pieces. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, these kind of taste old. They kind of taste like they're past their expiration date. Not that it would hurt you or anything with chocolate, I don't think. But um, it definitely doesn't taste fresh, and it's kind of gritty a little bit. Let's go ahead and try this one out. I think that one has a flavor to it for sure. I'm not sure what. Let's try the pink one. P 
pink definitely has kind of a strawberry flavor to it. And then the green. I mean, honestly, they all kind of taste the same to me outside of the um, regular chocolate ones. You know, I don't usually give things a bad review unless they're, you know, bad. But I, I don't like these very much. They're very dry and old tasting. Um, you would think from the packaging with how reflective the outer layer of these are that they would be, you know, like a chocolate shell which I think is a little misleading. Um, there's no solid shapes like that. Oh, actually, never mind, I lied. There is a single one in here. This is the only actual solid uh, shape. All the rest of them are the little tiny other pieces. So that's a little disappointing. Um, I think this would be really good if it didn't taste so old. And I'm not sure why, because it says 202008. Um, and it's not past that yet, so it's not expired. Maybe it just wasn't stored in the correct temperatures uh, or, or whatnot. Or maybe this is just how this kind of chocolate is. But I'd say it, its flavor profile outside of its consistency is a solid six. Because I love the taste of strawberry kind of uh, Japanese chocolate. But uh, the consistency is definitely like a one very gritty and uh, old tasting but i'll probably still end up finishing these off or pawning them off to my fiance so but yeah i think that uh this little adventure was still worth it kind of seeing how interesting these guys are and they do stack so that's something a huge shout out to my patreons thank you guys so much for your support you guys are awesome if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Feel free to check out my Patreon. I have a multitude of different tiers that can help you support the channel. Uh, feel free to share this with your friends. And liking and commenting definitely helps push that algorithm out there. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.